Well, I'm Wayne Visser and I'm Director of CSI International and I'm here today with Sten Anders Berg, who's Deputy Director General for the Norwegian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and uh, he's Director of the Economic and Commercial Section. Welcome here today. Thank you. Um, I'd like you to talk to us a little bit about uh, Norway's approach to CSI and particularly some of the innovations recently around uh, your white paper. The white paper um, was produced and came out last year and it uh, uh, is a summary of the Norwegian government's view, views on uh, CSR where the main points are that CSR is uh, an issue driven by the business sector. It has been developed by the business sector and it should, be continu should continue to be developed and driven forward by the business sector. Uh, the reason being that uh, uh, the business sector has developed these issues and driven them forward because it is good for their business. Um, the policy implications of the white paper is that the Norwegian government will support Norwegian business nationally and internationally uh, in um, forwarding these issues but will not develop any measures for implementation in the sense that we will try to force anyone to do anything. Uh, the message in the white paper is that so far CSR has been uh, very much about charity and uh, the Norwegian government says that this is a good thing that should continue. Businesses should continue to do charitable things but the basis for those charitable measures must be that they also have their house in, in, in order concerning the four main issues underlying CSR, namely on human rights, on decent working conditions, uh, on environment and on corruption. Uh, those issues are basic to uh, the issue of CSR and must be uh, an integral part of the policy of all businesses that take CSR uh, seriously. All those issues are also very much focused in different international forums and processes. So Norwegian authorities will be working on those environmental issues, human rights issues and so on in uh, international forums and thereby try to facilitate and develop the framework, improve the framework under which uh, Norwegian business operates internationally and to then make it easier uh, to do good uh, CSR uh, work. Okay. Um, the white paper also emphasizes that uh, the CSR policy has to be an integral part of any good business strategy and it has to be uh, it has to have attention from all parts of the business organization from the board to the management and, and on the floor uh, level. It is important that these issues are also uh, subject to cooperation uh, between businesses throughout the business sector because only in that way can the, level, uh, the playing field be leveled, for example, with, with respect to, to, to corruption and, 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 and such uh, issues that are detrimental to, to, to business and, and, and hampers uh, efficiency in business very much. Why did Norway feel like it needed its own uh, white paper? We've had the EU white green paper first and then a white paper come out. Uh, is there something that this does that's different or that uh, perhaps beds it down in a national context? Yeah, uh, it beds it down in, in, in a national context to emphasize that the Norwegian government will be a partner to Norwegian business in Norway and internationally. But uh, the basis uh, for this uh, government business cooperation is in Norway and through the forums that we, that we have there 
um, between the government and the big business organizations and the small business organizations and directly with, with, uh, with companies. Mm. Uh, so this is why we needed a, a national basis uh, to, to further this issue also internationally. The government, of course, needs feedback from the business sector to, to, to adjust its uh, actions and policies uh, internationally. Mm. Now, one of the international standards that's coming out this year is ISO 26000. And uh, one of the concerns among countries like uh, Russia and China and India uh, was that it, CSR could become a trade barrier. Um, how do you as a government uh, view this issue? No, uh, I don't see that that can be a, rea a reality in, uh, as far as I understand that. Uh, ISO 26000 uh, is not going to be mandatory in any sense. It's, it's, a, it's a voluntary um, target, uh, and, and as such, uh, I can't see how it technically actually can be a, a trade barrier. Mm -hmm. So to conclude then, what would you say is the role of governments in CSR? Because often I'm asked the question, uh, should the government legislate uh, on CSR? Well. Uh, I think the role of government is different in different settings. The, the role of the, of, of the Norwegian government, is, as we see it, is that we need to be a partner um, and, and, and a facilitator. Uh, legislation is, is not in question um, at, at all. Um, and our definition of, uh, the, of CSR, which is pretty much the uh, EU definition, is that it is what is done over and above legal uh, requirements and uh, we we saying that Norwegian businesses should try to take the standards they have at home with them when they go abroad. Okay, well thanks very much for explaining and thank you for the interview. Okay, thank you.